Today, we're going to take a quick look at Blitz Report and creating user-defined templates. Blitz Report lives inside the EBS Forms menu. Very easy for users to access. Simply double click and launch the software. When the software launches, it shows you this small selection menu, which allows a user to choose a report they'd like to run. Conveniently, it shows the last report that the user has executed. But if there are other reports, you can double click in this list of values and bring up the list of reports. The list of reports will include the last executed reports in the order they were used. And you can also scroll down to see the other reports that you have uh, authority to run. If you wish to search for a report, you can use the Google like search here in this list of values, and that will allow you to search for a report by name, by part of the description, by any column of information inside the report or by any database table name. For now, we'll stick with the GL account analysis and we're going to look at the options screen. So we click once in the options and we have the option to create a new template. So we'll start with that by clicking the new button. This is the template creation screen. In the center, it shows you all of the columns of data that are currently selected to print on this report. At this point, we have selected all of the data that's available in this report to print. However, we could say hide all of the data and then specifically select the data we want by clicking the right arrow once the column is highlighted by using the shift key to select a group of columns or by using the control key to select individual columns and move them to the report. We can also use a double click to remove or to add. Once we have the pieces of information we'd like on our report, we can rearrange them to our required layout. So we can move these up, we can move them down, or we can simply type in here the position we'd like them to appear on and they will move directly to that, that position. I'm going to show you right now a template that was previously created. This template takes very few pieces of information, the ledger, the source name, the account, description. So we've concatenated the account and the description so you can get them in one cell and the accounted amount. You'll see I've added a sum to the accounted amount to give me a total. And I've also sorted these accounts by account number and description. So the sort order is available. If I hit the run key, the system will execute this. You'll see it's pending. It's showing the status of the concurrent manager as it executes this report. Then it will open the output screen and deliver my information very summarized by account number with each source name listed. That's a brief look at how you can create reports and templates very quickly using Blitz Report. Today we look at creating Blitz Report pivot tables. Pivot tables are very powerful because not only can you have data summarized at the level you wish, you can filter it and you can drill down to details. So Blitz Report lives inside the EBS Forms menu. We double click it and it opens the small user screen. The user screen will default to the last report that this user has executed. And this time we're going to create a template for a financial statement. So I'll look up here, I'll find one that's already created. Here's my financial statement pivot table and we'll just edit that. You'll see over here that on the left hand side are the pieces of information that we have not selected to include in this report. In the middle are the pieces of information we have included in this report. Information must be in the center column in order to create a pivot table. So on the right hand side, you see I've got some filters. To remove a filter, I can simply highlight it and use the right arrow key. To add a filter, I can click here and click the filter to 
put it into the filter screen. If I wanted sub account with details, I can put it in the filter. I can put the department with description in the filter. I can put the company with description in the filter. And then if I choose, I want to reorder these. If I want the sub account to be below the department and the company to be above the department, I can simply use my arrow key to move them around. In this column, I put the period name in the columns. And on the rows, I've got the account number description, the values of the accounted amount, and the sum. So moving data directly from here, I could easily have put entered amount over here as the values just by highlighting it and adding it or using these arrows to remove it. I don't have to close this template. I can simply drag it down and hit the Run key. And we can watch this center button managing the concurrent process so you can see that it's currently running. Then its output means that it has finished creating the report. It's ready to open Excel and show me that data in Excel. So now I have the ability to say I want to see everything for a specific department. Maybe I just want to see my purchasing department. It will instantly filter my trial balance by that department. And if I need to see the details of what this car rental was, I can simply double click on it and get down to the immense amount of detail that we've selected in that center section of our template when we created the template. That's a quick view on how to create a pivot table and to get the data you need from EBS into Excel.